So in this video we'll be using the method of finite differences to find the formula for the sum of the first n squares. And using this formula down here, which is a general formula, remember there's no d, uh, I've generated the first three equations, which are given by 1, 4, and 9. So the sum of the first one terms is 1, sum of the first two terms is 5, sum of the first three terms is 14. And I plugged in 1, 2, and 3 into this formula for n and got these simultaneous equations. So now it's a matter of just solving them. So if we get rid of all this extra stuff. Uh, the easiest way, I think, to do this is just to use if we just multiply this and then subtract it from stuff. So let's get rid of this equation for the time being and multiply this equation by 2 and then subtract. So if I multiply this equation by 2, this becomes 2. Let's get rid of these s's. This becomes 2. This becomes 2. This becomes 2. This becomes 2. So everything's 2. And then I subtract. Uh, and then I get 2 minus 5 is negative 3. 2 minus 8, negative 6a minus 2b. So if I just make everything plus, so I get 6a plus 2b equals 3. And I'm going to keep that aside. So it's 6a plus 2b equals 3. That's our first equation. Now we can use uh, we can use the first equation and the last equation. So if we multiply the last equation by th the first equation by 3, we get uh, 3 equals 3a plus 3b plus 3c. And we subtract the last equation. So we have 14 equals 27a plus 9b plus 3c. And then we get negative 11 equals negative 24a minus 6b, and this is 0. So this can be plus. So we get 24a plus 6b equals 11. So now we've taken our three variables, three equations, and reduced it to two variables, two equations. So now we can solve. Uh, and we're going to solve it by, I think I'll just multiply. So we have 24 a plus 6b equals 11. I'm going to multiply this bottom equation by 4. So I'm going to get 24a plus 8b and 12. And I'll subtract. So I get negative 2b equals negative 1. So 2b equals 1. So b equals 1 over 2. And I'll plug this into my this equation. So I get 6a plus, if b is 1 half, this is 1. So 6a equals 2 and a equals 1 third. So a equals one third, and b equals one half. Now it's a simple matter of just finding for c, and we have a super simple equation for c that we always have, which is a plus b plus c equals one, yeah, equals one. So one third plus one half plus c equals one. What's one third plus one half? So that's just going to be five six. Five six plus c equals one. So c equals one six. So we have everything. Now we just put it back into the equation. Okay, so we have one third n cubed plus one half n squared plus one six n, and that's going to give us the sum of the first n squares. So now it's a simple matter of I'm going to put the denominator of six in these, so I'm going to make it two n cubed plus three n squared plus one n all over six, and then I'm going to factor out the n. So if we factor out n, then we can reduce each of these by one. And then furthermore, we can factor this inside polynomial as 2n plus 1 and n plus 1. So I'm going to factor it as that, 2n plus 1 and n plus 1. And that's how we arrive at the formula for the sum of the first n squares.